Hoagie goes to Budapest. My froggy fingers are chilly. I can't wait to land and get some hot soup. Soup sounds perfect on a day like this. Maybe some tomato basil. Mmm, or cream of mushroom. Oh, where we're headed, there will be plenty of goulash. Goulash? Isn't that something you wear when it rains? Or is it something spooky, like a goulash? No, goulash is a kind of soup that's rich, hearty, delicious, and... Stop! Huh? My tummy can't handle it. We need to land now. Don't worry, Hoagie. We'll be in Hungary any minute. But we're already hungry. <laughs> Not hungry. Hungary, a country in Central Europe. Hungary is an old city with a rich history and lots of delicious food. We're heading to Budapest, the capital city. Are we almost there? I'm ready to try some goulash. Yep, Budapest, here we come. Passport, please. Udvazaluk Budapest and welcome to Budapest. Enjoy your stay. This seems pretty lively. Easy there, Tommy. Whoa, watch out, coming through. Oh, man! Whoa, 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 whoa! Done. Kusanam. I'm Laszlo. Kusanam. No, I should be thanking you. Kusanam means thank you in Hungarian. Oh, no problem. I'm Hoagie, and these are Lorna, Bernie, and Floaty. Hi. Hello. Hi there. Those are a lot of groceries. You must be hungry. Well, yes, a little, but I have to get these ingredients back to my grandmother's at the restaurant. We're making goulash. Did you say goulash? That's just what we were looking for. Well, my grandmother makes the best goulash in town. You can come by and try some if you'd like. Yes, please. Great. And later, I can show you around the city. Well, it sounds like you're in good hands. I'll meet you later at the restaurant. But if you need me, just look up. Great. Perfect. Sounds good. These are my new friends, Hoagie, Bernie, and Lorna. My grandmother's mm -hmm. teaching me how to cook so I can become a great chef someday. That's right. Nice to meet you all. I'm Melinda. Oh, look at all the lovely ingredients you brought. Kosanum. Come, let's take them to the kitchen. Hoagie and his friends wanted to try your goulash. Oh, well, you're in luck. We're making a big pot for a party tonight at the restaurant. And I could use a few more kitchen helpers. <laughs> I'll help. Count me in. Absolutely. <laughs> the most important huh? secret to making great goulash giving it time to cook. Oh, uh, <laughs> my tummy was wondering when we get to feed it. <laughs> Not until tonight. But if you're hungry now, here are some Ooh. Hungarian specialties for you to snack on. Mmm, these are good. Delicious. I love these. Thanks, Grandma. I have to run some errands to get ready for the party. I'll be back in a bit. Mmm, those were good. Can we have some more? Well... Uh, almost uh, got it. Almost. Uh, oh. 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 Whoa! I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm actually all right. But the goulash isn't. <gasps> oh, no! What if we make some more? Good idea. Let's try to find 
find the recipe. My grandmother never wrote it down. She learned it from her grandmother and, oh, huh? never mind. What is it? Well, I've helped her cook goulash so many times, I think I can remember the recipe too. Great, let's ghoul up some more lash. But what if I can't make it taste as good as hers? You never know until you try, Laszlo. So why don't you give it a go? We'll be your kitchen helpers. All right but we'll need new ingredients and fast. The goulash needs enough time to cook before the party. I'll ask one of the waiters to help clean up. Let's go. This is the great market hall where we always do our shopping. This way. My grandmother always uses the best ingredients. We need to pick out some good onions. How do we know if they're good or not? Have you been a good onion? I think that onion's trying to make you cry, oh. Lorna. <laughs> no, you just give a little squeeze to see if they're firm and smell them to make sure they're fresh. Whoa! Yeah, you know a lot about onions. Aha, mm. uh -huh. I found a good one. Here you are. Here you go. This one's good. <laughs> Fresh garlic should never rattle. Oh. Look for the peppers with the most color. <laughs> <laughs> now we just need the most important ingredient of all, paprika. Oh, oh no, it's closed. We'll have to get our paprika someplace else. We can't. My grandmother only uses Chuba's paprika for her goulash. Anything else and it won't taste the same. Can we wait for Chaba to get back? We can't wait that long. We have to get back and start cooking. Is there any way to find him? Uh, there's a few places he could be. Come on. Senchenyi baths. Oh no, we don't have to get in the bath, do we? These baths aren't like normal bathtubs at home. They're heated by natural warm spring waters. More like uh, big pools where people can relax and see their friends. All right, but no splashing, Hoagie. Uh, there he is. Oh, hello, <laughs> Laszlo. These are friends of yours? We're making goulash. Oh yes, of course you are. If I'd known your grandmother needed paprika, I never would have left the market. Kosano! Don't mention it, and tell your grandmother I said hello. All right, chef, huh? what do we do first? Chef? Me? Isn't that what you've always wanted? W well, yes, but... We got all these ingredients now. You said you could remember the recipe. You can do it, Laszlo. Well, I have watched her make goulash a hundred times. <laughs> <sighs> all right, I'll try, but my grandmother will be back soon. All yeah, right. right! I'll get one of the waiters to help out. Yeah. And we'll help too. And I'll keep a lookout for your grandmother. <laughs> Good, good, but let's chop the onions a little smaller. <laughs> that looks about right. Done. I want to surprise her. Uh, see if you can hold her off. Uh, oh, uh, hello. <laughs> Let's see how that goulash is doing. Not yet. Because uh, we have a surprise. <laughs> oh, you do? Yeah, we're going to oh, sing you a song. Right, a song. The the goulash song. Goulash, goulash, la 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 la. What rhymes with goulash? Onions, garlic. Splash, splash, splash! Mm, yes, very nice. But I really must check on the goulash. Hmm, it looks like it's coming along nicely. But how does it taste? It tastes perfect. This is 
<laughs> the best goulash I've tasted in a long time. <laughs> it just needs some more time to cook. <laughs> we we did, did it! it. She liked it. I did it. Well done, Laszlo. You're a great chef. Yeah, I wish I could tell my grandmother. Are you enjoying the goulash? Mmm, yeah! Delicious! Mm, it's really great. good! And actually, there's something I want to tell you. Ah, <laughs> but before you do, I want to tell you something uh -huh. too. There's always uh... extra paprika in the outside pantry if you ever need it again. <laughs> there are still plenty of guests to serve, Chef Laszlo. Well, wait a minute! Huh? Does that mean? She knew all along? Huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hoagie goes to Quebec City. Oh, isn't it beautiful up here? Uh, I'm a little too cold to enjoy the view. <laughs> Glad I have some hot chocolate to warm me up. <laughs> Guess it's not really hot chocolate anymore. Here you go, Lorna. This should help. <laughs> Thanks, Bernie. Why is it so cold? Well, it's kind of the way things are this time of year where we're headed. The n -n -n North Pole? Oh, not quite. But we're headed to Canada, to a place called Quebec City. Will it be any warmer down there? Well, it's winter now, and Canada is way up in the northern part of the North American continent. And when you're in the north during the winter, <laughs> that usually means it's cold. cold! Please let it be less cold down there. Going down! Oh, are you okay? Actually, this bowl is nice and warm. We're just in time for the Quebec Winter Carnival. It's a lot of fun. <sighs> it must be indoor fun. Uh, well, not exactly. Wow, it's beautiful here. Quebec City is the oldest city in Canada. Founded by a French explorer named Samuel de Chapuis. Oh, well, I hope he had warm clothes when he got here. Bienvenue à Québec. Actually, I thought they spoke English in Canada. There are two main languages in Canada, English and French. That's true. Your passport, Sibouple. Here you go. <laughs> Enjoy your stay. <laughs> I'll just take a look around and see what's going on. Besides, it's a little crowded down here. Call me if you need me and have fun. It's really too cold to have fun. I think you're gonna be surprised. I'm too cold to be surprised. What is that amazing smell? I don't know, but it really is mm. wonderful. <laughs> La vie can vous play. Huh? That just means I'm glad you like it in French. And this is a sugar shack. And what they got inside tastes even better than it smells. Ooh, mm. sugar shack. Uh, what's a sugar shack? It's a place where we turn the sap from maple trees into sweet maple syrup. Ew, huh? you eat sap from a tree? Who's we? <laughs> yes, sap from a tree, and we is me and my family. We own the sugar shack. Would you like to try some? Would we ever? Well. Follow me. Je m'appelle Angelique. Nice to meet you, Angelique. My name's Hoagie. I'm Lorna. And I'm Bernie. Uh, why do you have all the snow here? Because we are going to make maple taffy. Ooh. And what's that? The snow cools the hot maple syrup and turns it into sticky candy. That's my papa, Marcel. Daniel, always the first in line. And that is our friend Daniel. He loves maple taffy. Oh. Bon appétit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
This is so good. So far, this carnival is really tasty. <laughs> the fun is just beginning. Wait until you see the ice canoe races. Did you say ice canoe races? Later on, Papa, Danielle, and I will be racing our canoe on the frozen river. Hmm, that sounds fun. And a little bit crazy. <laughs> oh, it is. You won't believe your eyes. Right now, I can hardly believe my mouth. I just have to finish decorating our canoe before the race. Woo! Let oh. us help! Yeah, we're good helpers, and it sounds like fun. Thank you. I could really use a hand. Oh, what's this? It looks like a kind of flower. You are right. It's a fleur de lis, the symbol of Quebec. Uh, 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 uh. Win or lose, Team Maple will have the best looking canoe in the race. Thanks for helping us get ready. You're welcome. I'll just put the oars inside. Oh, it's time for the snowshoe race. Snowshoes? Native Canadians have been using them for centuries to walk and run over the deep snow. <laughs> they look kind of like my feet. I guess I'll be able to walk on the deep snow too. Watch. <laughs> I can already tell that you Canadians know how to have fun in winter. Uh oh! Hoagie! The canoe race isn't until later, you silly frog! Lorna? Looks like she's curling. Ah! Oh, I don't understand this game. But I think we just won. I don't know about you guys, but I'd like to warm up a bit. And I know a great place. We're supposed to warm up in a building made of ice? Right. Chocolate. It's so much better when it's hot. Hey, what are you knitting now, Bernie? Just some mittens. <laughs> For me, I see that. <laughs> how was the food? It was... How do you say delicious in French? Delicio. Bernie, your French is très bien. Merci beaucoup. But we better get going. The race will be starting soon, and I need to get ready. What are we gonna do? The race is gonna start in a couple of minutes. Hmm. Well, if we can't push it, ooh. Huh? That's it, huh? we'll use the yarn. We're ready. Then let's get down to the river. Do you think this will work? I, I hope so. It's working. It's the world's first flying canoe. There you are. <laughs> Papa, I'm ready for the race. I'm afraid we have a bit of a problem. What's wrong? Daniel ate too much maple taffy, and now he is malalitumak. Oh, dear. He has a stomach ache. <laughs> huh? So what are you going to do? Hmm. Huh. You could join us, Hoagie. Uh, uh, are you sure about that? If you can steer a canoe through the city like you did this afternoon, you'll be fine on the water. <laughs> They're ready to go. 
Good luck, guys! Thanks, Floaty! Okay, Team Maple, are you ready? Oui, Papa! Uh, I think so. This is the craziest race ever. They're passing another canoe. Hale, hale. Oh. <laughs> Yay! Cold water. Go, you. Go, Hoagie, go. Huh? Duck, that's me. No, I mean, watch out, Lorna. Uh-oh. Whoa, that was close. Oh, no, it's coming too close. without your help. Merci beaucoup. And thank you for such an amazing day. I never would have imagined that you could have this much fun in the cold. Mm, is there any more of this taffy? You can have as much as you want. Great, cause it's delicious. Is that a new word, Hoagie? Yup, I learned it today. And I've just invented a new word. Fantastic! <laughs> Hoggy goes to Jeju. That water down there is called the Korea Strait in the Northwest Pacific Ocean. So, which country are we going to? Korea, but we're going to Korea's largest island, Jeju Island. Is that it over there? That's the island, and that's Mount Hala, the tallest mountain in all of Korea. Almost the entire island is part of Mount Hala. And what's that over there? Wanunza Temple oldest temple site in Korea. They have a big festival on Buddha's birthday, ooh, which happens to be today. Get ready, we're heading down. Whoa! What's that in the water? Are those seals or dolphins? Oh, we'll find out soon enough. Okay, stand by for landing. And she sticks her landing. The judges go wild. Whoa! Huh? young Hasio, passport, please. Oh, of course. Here you go. Hmm, very good. Gomawo, and welcome to Jeju Island. Thanks. Wow, is this sand? I've never seen black sand before. That's because it's volcanic. Wow, so much to see. I've got to get lots of pictures of all of this. Hoagie! I'll be right here. Oh, so soft. Perfect for a little snooze. <laughs> oh. The sea looks great. Maybe we could go swimming. Not me. I don't do water, remember? It's too wet. <laughs> huh? What's so funny? It's mm. not me. It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean hello? Good guess. I'm Minja. Hi, Minja. I'm Hoagie. And these are my friends, Lorna and Bernie. Hello! Annyeonghaseyo! Are you here for the big festival for Buddha's birthday? Oh, we heard about it, but tell me more. Uh-huh. 
At sunset, the monks light up the temple with hundreds of colored lanterns. It's beautiful. Ooh, I want to do that. I can take you if you want. My oh. whole family's going. Thank you, Minja. What's that? Were you drawing? Um, what, this? Oh, I love the wildlife here. I often sit and sketch. It's a good way to learn all about the birds and animals. If I could, I'd work with the wildlife when I'm older, but... But what, Minja? Oh, it's... Oh, no! Uh -huh. What's wrong, Bernie? My glasses! Where did they go? They're not on my face, are they? Not that I can see. And they're not in my hands. That means they're lost! Without my glasses, I'm lost, Hoagie! Do you hear me? Can you tell me that, Hoagie? Can you? Um, I'm Minja. <laughs> oh! <laughs> see what I mean? Maybe they fell off when we were flying over the Korea Strait. But how could you just lose them? Don't you usually wear them? I do. But I was so scared of losing them, I kept taking them off and holding them. And, and then, then I lost them! <laughs> yeah. Do you remember when you last had your glasses on, Bernie? Not really. They were on, they were off. Ugh, I'm confused. I'm pretty sure you were wearing them when we flew over the beach. Mm, maybe you're right. The problem is we flew all the way along the sand and then we landed way down there. They could be anywhere along the beach. We have to find them. I want to go to the festival and see the lantern celebration tonight. I have to find my glasses. Don't worry, Bernie. They've got to be uh -huh. here somewhere. We just have to retrace our steps. I'll help. I know this island pretty well. We'll find your glasses if we just look hard enough. Oh. This way. Keep your eyes open. I'm not sure if that'll make any difference, but I'll try. These rocks are so cool. What are they, Minja? Oh, they were made by the volcano. When the hot lava hit the water a long time ago, they made these basalt columns. They're millions of years old. Wow, you sure know your stuff. There's so much to learn about in Jeju. The beach, the hillsides, the volcano, and most of all, the wildlife. Wow! So is that why you're drawing all those pictures? I guess so. The things that I see and draw could be useful for someone who works on the island one day. But wouldn't that someone be you? Ow! I need to find my glasses. Come on, maybe we'll have better luck this way. but super friendly. Uh -huh. Do you think maybe you dropped your glasses around here, Bernie? I don't know. Where are we, Hoagie? Uh, I'm over here, Bernie. See, I can't see. I mean, ugh, whatever. I'll keep looking. This is where the seabirds build their nests. Oh, don't get too close, Bernie. Birds can be a little fussy when hatching their eggs. There are 394 separate kinds of birds just on Jeju Island. Aren't they beautiful? You really do know a lot about wildlife, Minja. You'd be great working with animals. I'd love that, working with the wildlife on the island. But I'm not sure my mom and my grandma would like that. My family kind of has other plans for huh? me. Other plans? Guys, any luck? Sorry, Bernie. I don't see your glasses anywhere, and it's almost sunset. What am I going to do? I'm going to miss the whole festival. Uh-oh. You don't think my glasses fell in the water as we landed, do you? Hmm, if your glasses mm. fell in the water... Uh -oh. oh, then I might know some people who can help. Come on. Who is she waving to? They're not seals or dolphins. They're people. They're called sea women, and they spend every day diving to the ocean floor collecting stuff to sell at the market. Wow, that is hard work. <laughs> I know. And some of them are in their 70s and even their 80s. How do you
do you know so much about them? Yeah, they're not wildlife, I don't think. Well, that's my mother, and that's my aunt, and that's my big cousin Heiwon, and that's my grandmother. Hi, Minja. Who are your new friends? Oh, Grandma. This is Hoagie, Lorna, and Bernie. Annyeonghaseyo! I'll be right back. I need to speak with my mom. Did Minja show you three around? She knows more about Jeju and the wildlife here than a scientist. She, she sure does. does! It's okay, Bernie. My mom says that if you dropped your glasses over there, she and the others are sure to find them. Thanks, Minja! Thank you, uh, sea women! Is everyone in your whole family a sea woman, Minja? <laughs> well, not my dad or my brothers. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Just women. It's a tradition. And one day, Minja will be one, too. It's what my family's been doing for hundreds of years. <sighs> it's oh. what we do. What? Oops. <laughs> um, guys? Bernie, huh? you mean they were in your pocket the whole time? I guess I put them there for safety. <laughs> Pretty safe, huh? Hey, everyone. It's okay. The search is off. Bernie had his glasses the whole time. I'm really sorry for all the trouble I put you and your family through, Minja. No worries. I'm just glad you found your glasses. Yeah, and just in time for the Lantern Festival! Yay! Your grandmother seems nice. She is. And I guess I'll just be a sea woman, just like her. <sighs> and my mom. Hmm. Can I see your sketch pad, Minja? This? Uh, I, uh, sure. <gasps> Whoa, they're so good! Why won't you tell your family you want to work with wildlife? My mom has been looking forward to me being able to work with her someday, like she did with her mother. It would make my grandmother so proud. I couldn't let them down. Oh, your grandmother just wants you to be happy, I'm sure. You should mm. tell her. Tell me what? What is it, Ninja? Uh, Grandma, I'm sorry, but I, I don't want to be a sea woman when I grow up. No? Okay, why not? Because I want to work with nature here on Jeju. I want to save the planet. But Ninja, that's wonderful. It, it is? Of course. Protecting the ocean and the wildlife is even more important than carrying on our family tradition. Hey, guys, look! Oh, that's amazing! It's time to make a wish. I can't think of anything else to wish for. Great friends, great <laughs> place. We've got everything we need. Especially my glasses. Oh, Bernie. Hoagie goes to San Francisco. Hmm, I just can't figure out quite where we are. We've been heading north, northwest, so we should be. Ooh, don't get too far ahead, Lorna. It's cloudy, and you might get separated from the group. Not a chance. I've got GDS. GDS? Great ducky sense. I have perfect sense of direction. Oh, where am I? Where am I? Oh, here I am. See? GDS. I'll tell you where we are, guys. We're over the continent of North America, specifically over the state of California. We're heading to the city of San Francisco. San Francisco is known for its hills, cable cars, Fisherman's Wharf, ooh, and of course, uh, the famous Golden Gate Bridge. Oh, it says here the Golden Gate Bridge is over a mile long. Yep, it's been named one of the wonders of the modern world. I can't wait to check it out. Oh, uh, yes, if we can find it. Uh, it seems to be getting a bit foggy. Well, I don't see a bridge anywhere, Lorna. Ooh, I can't even see where to land with all this fog. Huh? huh? Uh-oh, I think you landed on something. It's a picnic basket. Correction, it was a picnic basket. Oh, dear. Huh? Passport, please. Welcome to San Francisco. <laughs> 
picnic basket. Oh, well, we're really, really sorry. It was just so foggy. Eh, uh, well, we landed on it by mistake. He means I landed on it by mistake. Oh, it's just that it's kind of a special day. Uh, it's special for us, too. Oh, I'm Hoagie, and these are my friends, Lorna, Bernie, and Floaty. Well, uh, hi, I'm Jonah. Why is this a special day for you? We're visiting San Francisco for the very first time. Why is it so special for you? Well, this was supposed to be a surprise picnic lunch for my mom, and I was about to bring it to her at work. Oh, huh? was that a... Yep, a chocolate cake, my mom's favorite. That's okay, I'll figure something out. Not sure exactly what. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't we get Floaty to fly to where your mom works, and on the way, we'll help you pick up stuff to make a new picnic. Really? Well, thanks! That'd be great! Where does your mom work? On the Golden Gate Bridge. She's on the painting crew. Your mom paints the Golden Gate Bridge? Uh-huh. I was bringing her a surprise lunch because today is the day her crew finishes painting. A celebration just for painting a bridge? Come on, it couldn't have been that hard. It took seven years. Oh, well <laughs> then. That must be a big job. I can't wait to meet her and hear all about it. Yes, except, well, I'm afraid it's too foggy for me to fly, guys. I'm gonna have to sit right here <gasps> until the fog lifts. Yeah, San Francisco is famous for fog, but that's okay. We can get there by cable car. Come on. I'll meet you at the bridge later, after this clears. The bridge should be that way. Bernie, hurry up! <gasps> Bernie, Lorna, come on! Uh, ah, I can't see, I can't see! Oh, no, I can't see! I can't see! Uh, oh, wait! Uh, wait! It's okay! Get on the next cable car and we'll meet you at the next... Stop! What he said! Uh, uh, you and your maps. What do we need those for when we've got great ducky sense? Oh, there's the next cable car. Phew, come on. Wait, um, this might not be the right one. It says here in my guidebook there are different cable cars that go in different directions. There's no time for guidebooks or maps. Come on! Worry, Bernie. Duck, he sits. Whoa! Uh, I'm all right. I'm all right. Next up, Lombard Street. Huh? Hmm. Here, take this seat. Thank you. I wish we hadn't gotten split up. We don't have that much time to get the food for your mom's picnic lunch. Huh? Hey, it's fresh sourdough bread. I wonder why she did that. That show was nice, though. Thank you. <laughs> I guess we should wait right here for Lorna and Bernie. Where are we anyway? Wow, this is cool. This is Chinatown, the oldest and biggest Chinatown in America. Pretty cool, huh? Really cool. <laughs> huh? I don't hmm? see Lorna and Bernie. Me neither. Excuse me, sir, but have you by any chance seen a duck and a dragonfly anywhere? Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Got it! Yes! Oh. Gotcha! Thanks. This reminds me, we still gotta pick up food for your picnic, but we need to find Bernie and Lorna first. Maybe they got on a different car. There's one that goes to Lombard Street. Around here, they say it's the crookedest street in the world. What are we waiting for? To Lombard <laughs> Street. Boy, this Lombard Street sure is twisty. Yeah, and I don't see Hoagie and Jonah anywhere. Look, water. Blah. You know water's not my thing. Think about it. Where there's water, there's... Wet stuff. <sighs> No, bridges! The Golden Gate Bridge should be where the water is, right? 
I'll just find Lombard Street on the map and we can head to... Uh -uh. My great Ducky sins, remember? But first we've got to get off this crazy street. <laughs> hey, mind if we hitch a ride? We're trying to find our friends and collect food for a picnic and we don't have much time. <laughs> <laughs> I sure could use a cup of lemonade. Me too. Oh. Two, please. <laughs> hmm. I don't think Lorna and Bernie are on Lombard Street after all. <gasps> Thanks! Mm. A right and some cheese! I love this city! <laughs> the Golden Gate Bridge anywhere. This place is pretty interesting, though. It says here, Fisherman's Wharf is known for its restaurants serving fresh seafood, especially the local delicacy, Dungeness Crab. <laughs> oh, Bernie! It's okay, Lorna. It's just a sea lion. It says here, hundreds of them came years ago to the docks and stayed. Oh, nice to meet you, I think. I don't see them anywhere. And we still need to pick up food for the picnic. It's getting late. We're going to find hmm? them, Jonah. And we're going to get a picnic together for your mom in time. I promise. Come on. For your ducky sense. Huh. So much for your maps and guidebooks, you mean? This is terrible. Not only haven't we found Lorna and Barney, but we still need to get the rest of the food we need and get to the bridge in time for your mom's picnic. What happened to you guys? Well, I was so busy looking at my map. We missed the cable car. Nah, I guess my ducky sense isn't all it's cracked up to be mm. either. I'm just glad we found each other. But what about uh... Jonah's surprise picnic for his mom? Oh, <gasps> the bridge! Ah. Hello there, everyone. Bonnie! Jonah! Uh, mom! What are you doing here? Well, I wanted to have a surprise picnic for you when you finished the bridge, but it got squashed. Oh, and this is Hoagie, Bernie, Lorna, and Floaty. Guys, this is my mom. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet all of you. Nice to meet you, too. Hi. Hello. We're really sorry we ruined your surprise picnic, Mrs. Uh, Jonah's mom. Hmm, well, I don't know about that. Looks like there's enough food for all of us. Right here. Well, hey, she's right. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> oh, that hit the spot. Sure did. Well, I guess we better get home and get to bed, huh? Tomorrow it's back to work for me. Huh? But I thought you were done. Well, that's the thing about the Golden Gate Bridge. It's so big that as soon as we finish painting, it's time to start all over again. Whoa, mm -hmm. that's a big bridge. Let me know if you need any help picking a color. I kind of have a sense uh... for these things. My great artsy sense, G-A-S. Mm -hmm. You mean you have gas? <laughs> I do. Hoagie goes to Hong Kong. What are you doing, Lorna? Making an airplane noise. I'm seeing if it helps me concentrate on my flying. Oh, cool. What happens if you stop? Well, if I stop, I'm not concentrating. And if I'm not concentrating, I tend to... Be careful! Oh, got him! Phew, that was a close one. <sighs> Thanks, Hoagie. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, no, they're broken. Oh, I'm so sorry, Bernie. I didn't mean to. It's okay, Lorna. That's why I always come prepared. 
that again. You're gonna need those, Barney. There's a lot to see where we're going today. Ooh, what is it? Where are we going? We're going somewhere to celebrate the new year. Oh, oh yeah. yeah! New year! But wait, didn't we celebrate the new year a few weeks ago? We did, but Chinese New Year is different. It's held to celebrate the start of the lunar calendar year. And today, we're going to celebrate Chinese New Year in Hong Kong. Ooh, Hong Kong! Hong Kong is on the southern side of China, surrounded by the South China Sea. Ooh, and there's beautiful Victoria Harbor. Wow, look at all those tall buildings. Hong Kong has more skyscrapers than any other city in the world. The Chinese consider red to be a lucky color, so they put up red decorations to make sure they have good fortune all year long. <laughs> well, in that case, you should be very lucky, Floaty. You're all red. <laughs> oh, yes, lucky me. Neho, passport, please. Sure, here you go. Good, thank you. Wow, look at this place, guys. I wonder if something like that will look good on me. It says here that that's a chung sop, a traditional Chinese outfit worn on Chinese New Year to bring luck. <laughs> well, if I'm lucky enough, maybe I'll find something good to eat. Oh, I hear music. It's coming from over there. during New Year's celebrations. Lion dancers are cool! No! Oh what happened? Hey! Wait, I fell! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Sorry I didn't see you there. It's okay. I'm Hoagie. And these are my friends, Lorna, Bernie, and Floaty. Hey, I'm Bo. That was a really great dragon dance! Until I fell and lost the rest of my dragon. Oh, what a disaster! Now my whole year is ruined. Your whole year? Does that mean our whole huh? year is gonna be ruined too? Huh? Oh. Chinese New Year is important to the people in my country. We have lots of traditions to make sure that we have a good year ahead, but none of them are working for me this year. Guys, we have to fix this. Do you have any other traditions we could try? Maybe you'll have some better luck with us helping. Sure, but we have to fix this New Year fast. We don't want to miss the fireworks at Victoria Harbor later. We should get going. <sighs> I think it's a little too crowded in the city center for me. I'll meet you at the harbor for the fireworks later, okay? Okay, see you later, Floaty. So, where should we start? Follow me. Everyone's opening their windows. Hey, those are pretty. Oh, yes. yes. These are paper cuttings. They bring you good fortune when you hang them on your doors. That sounds perfect. Let's make some of those. <laughs> Abo, Li Fan Li La. Mom, these are my new friends. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Um, if I could ask, why are you opening all the windows? <laughs> it's a Chinese New Year tradition. When you open your windows, you let the old year out and bring good fortune in. That'll help, right? Yes, and I could use all the good work. Bo, are you all right? Uh, I'm okay, but this is not good. We need to make those lucky paper cuttings pronto. Okay, well, everything you need is right oh, here. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> so, how do we do it? First, we fold the paper three times. One, two, Three. One, two, three. Good. Now we cut a pattern. Then we draw the Foo character. Ooh. See? Oh. Foo is 
the Chinese word for happiness. There, now let's hang them. Then it's tradition to hang them upside down. <laughs> Things are looking upside down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are silly. Now a piece of red paper to make my extra lucky food. <gasps> oh no! <gasps> Come on, follow that happiness. on Chinese New Year is another way to make sure that the year ahead is a good one. Hoagie's stomach thinks <laughs> that's a great idea. I know a good dumpling store over here. Woo! Look, a dumpling cart. Ooh, you have cool. to try fish dumpling. You're gonna love them. I'll try anything. Wow! watching people throw oranges at these trees all day. <laughs> yes, oh. those are wishing trees. Write a wish on one of these pieces of paper. Okay, but why? You tie your wish to the orange with some string. Then toss the orange into a wishing tree. If the string gets caught on one of the wishing tree's branches, your wish will come true. Let's wish. On the count of three. Yat, ye, Ow! My wish caught on a tree branch. So did mine. Yes, I got it. Me too. Uh, Bo, you missed the wishing tree. Like, not even close. Really? This was my last chance to make the coming year a good one. Oh, my whole year is ruined. Hmm. Bo, how many fingers am I holding up? Four? No. Two? No, 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 four. Bo, what does that paper cutting say? Uh, I'm not sure. Bo, that's the foo character you showed us. It means happiness. Oh, yeah. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yep. Why don't you give these a try? <gasps> Lorna, you are a duck? <laughs> uh, we don't think you have bad fortune, Bo. We think you have bad eyesight. Just like me. Think about it. Every time something went wrong today, it was because you couldn't see. Like when you bumped into the window, when you tripped on the crab cart, when you threw your orange. Or when I fell during my dragon dance. I think you might need glasses, like mine, to help you see better, Bo. Hi, Bo. Mom, my new friends think I might need glasses. You have been bumping into things a lot lately. I think we should get your eyes checked. Come on, come on, Mom. Can we go now? I don't want to miss the fireworks. Of course, Bo. Oh, I better give you your glasses back before I go, Bernie. Ah! Oh. <laughs> hey, look, guys. Bo's back. You look spectacular. Want to try to make your wish again? Sure. <laughs> it worked! What did you wish for, Bo? I wish for a great year with new friends. And my wish is already coming true. Whoa! This year is really starting out with a bang. Go play that joy! Hokey 
goes to the Amazon. Green, 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 as far as the eye can see. I'm starting to wonder if I'll ever see another color again. Oh, good. Blue. Phew. The Amazon rainforest, the largest rainforest in the world. Ooh, the Amazon. I've always wanted to go there. The Amazon rainforest is in South America. Its name comes from the Amazon River that runs through it, home to 390 million trees and hundreds of thousands of animals. Like the toucan, the kinkajou, the jaguar, the glass frog. Glass frog? Yeah, fun fact about glass frogs, you can see right through them. Ew. Wow, Bernie, you sure do know a lot about animals of the Amazon. Thanks to my guidebook. I was hoping to see some of them, but there are a bunch of clouds blocking my view. Oh. Hey, maybe this is why they call it the rainforest. Do they also call it the wind forest? Whoa! Whoa. Lorna, Bernie, it's not safe to fly in this wind. You'd better hop in. Move over, Hoagie. We're coming in. Okay, hang on, everyone. I'm heading down. Oh, is everybody okay? I'm all right. All good. Hey, look, the rain has stopped, and I think the wind is dying down. I'll just get us back up in the air. Oh, 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 oh. oh what's going on? Oh dear, looks like my propeller's gotten damaged in the fall. Oh no, Floaty! Look, a scarlet macaw. Fun fact, they can be taught to talk. Uh, not so fun fact. Floaty's zooming down the river out of control. Oh. Uh-oh. We've got to find some way of getting to the riverbank. Hey, what was that? Huh? What was what? There! Hello! What's he doing? I think he's helping us. Wow, I think oh. you're right. Please. Welcome to Brazil. Thanks for saving us. Uh, I'm Hoagie, and this is Lorna, Bernie, and Floaty. I'm Geralda, oh. and this is Yarima. Ooh. Um, hi. <laughs> yeah, I don't like water either. It's just so wet. I can't tell you how glad I am to get on dry land. Uh, Lorna? <gasps> Lorna, Hoagie, Bernie, oh. and Floaty, meet my father. Oh, hi how there. Nice to meet Hello. you. <laughs> Hello. You look tired and wet. Why don't you come back to the village to dry off and rest? I do have a small repair to do. I can ask some of the tribesmen to come and help you with that. Come. <laughs> Here we are. Whoa, cool. My tribe is the Yanamani. We have lived here in the forest for thousands of years. This is my mother. Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you, Geraldo's mom. What is she doing? She's crushing Uruku plants to make the red dye that we use to paint ourselves with. Ooh, that seems like a lot of work. Why not just buy paint from a store? <laughs> There aren't any stores around here. <gasps> no stores? But where do you get things? From the forest. We make our shabono out of wood, leaves, and vines from the trees. <laughs> and for food, we hunt. But just for as much as we need to eat. We also grow plantains and sweet potato in our garden and pick wild fruits and nuts in the forest. Yum! It looks delicious. If you're hungry, why don't you stay for the feast? Feast? Yes, the forest has given us so much that today we're having a great feast to celebrate. You must join us. We'd love to. Geraldo, we have many guests coming from other Shabonos and need more fruits of the peach palm to feed uh, them. Would you go and get some? Me? Yes, you, little man. Your mother and I think that you're grown up enough to handle an important job on your own. Oh, yes, Father. <laughs> Thank you. Father has never asked me to do a grown-up task for the tribe before. That's great, Geraldo. Yes. What's wrong? Well, 
father has never asked me to do a grown-up task for the tribe uh. before. Well, how about we come with you? Yeah! Great idea! Well, it would be nice to have some company. Are, are you sure? I might be searching for a while. Are you kidding? You saved us! It's the least we can do. Yeah, and it'll give us all a chance to see some jungle animals. Okay, <laughs> thank you! Climb in, everyone. Back into the water? I think I'll just fly alongside. It's my mission. My dad asks me to do this. Remember, be right back. You think he's all right up there? Can you guys fly up and see what's happening? Need some help? I think I can get it. I just need to pull a little harder. I'm not sure that's such a good idea, Geraldo. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think I do need some help after all. Hoagie, look out below! <gasps> Ooh, nice catch! Uh, guys, I think we've got some uh, company. Whoa, those are peccaries. Uh-oh, what do you mean, uh-oh? Uh, any fun facts about these guys, Barney? Ah, uh, they're grumpy, aggressive, and really like fruit. So, no. The answer is no. No fun facts. Uh-oh. What do we do? Uh, we need to distract them long enough so we can all get away. Distract them, huh? Oh, I've got an idea. Here you go, little piggies. I mean, peccaries. Oh. Now, guys! Oh. Uh. 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 We did it! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Bobby! Did you make your repairs? My propeller was too bent to fix, so some of the men from Geraldo's village made me a new one out of wood from the forest. Check it out. Nice! <laughs> Let's get oh. back to the Charbono. The feast <laughs> will be starting. Geraldo was amazing, sir. He climbed right up the tree to get the fruit. But I couldn't reach, so Bernie and Lorna flew up and helped me. Then the peccaries showed up. Peccaries, huh? They can be hmm? dangerous. I know, huh. but then Hoagie had the idea to throw them some fruit hmm. to distract them so we could escape. And you came back with the fruit <laughs> for the feast. Good work, son. Hmm. Except I failed your test. What are you talking about? We did what we were supposed to. Yes, but I didn't do it myself. I needed help. I'm sorry, Father. But son, 
That was the test. I... I don't understand. I sent you to do a task that was too difficult to do by yourself. You had the wisdom to accept help. The Yanamani could not survive if we did not know how to ask for and receive help from others. You made me very proud, son. I did? Yes. And the next time the men hunt, you will come with us. Thanks, Father. And thank you, Hoagie. Ah, uh, there was nothing. Hoagie, where are your friends Bernie and Lorna? We should thank them, too. Uh, over here. <laughs> yeah. Fun fact, dragonflies and ducks look pretty silly when they're dressed up in flowers and have their faces painted. <laughs> Very funny, Bernie. <laughs> <laughs>